And here we are in London. Having spotted fog, aren't we? Uh, that uh, that bloke in the fuzzy white get-up, that's, uh, uh, my word, that's me. Uh, yes, yes, it is. It's, uh, it's Robert S. Beanblossom of the Thackeray Realty Company. And uh, this whole terrible predicament started, well, uh, let me take you to one of our city parks early this morning. It's a typical California morning with the sun shining and the birds are singing. Sam, why don't you let me buy you a new bike for your next birthday? You tend to drive in my car, and I'll take care of my bicycle. How do you think it looks for the president of the South Coast Trust Company to be riding around a beat-up old bike? What do you mean, beat up? Look at the rubber on those tires. We got one thing to be grateful for. The insurance company made you give up that motorcycle. <laughs> George, the older you get, the stuffier you get. Maybe. Well, I pick you up. I'm old enough to find my way home myself. Okay, Sam. You don't give me any choice. I'm going to have to follow you in the car. You do, and I'll fire you, Mr. Monahan. Yes, Mr. Hamilton. Mm -hmm. The stubborn old goat. I heard that. That's why I said it. <laughs> Beat up old bike. <laughs> There you are, fellas. Now look, stand back. So proud, there's enough for everybody. Oh, good morning. Sure is, son. Hey, look out for that lamp post. <laughs> Don jaywalking pigeons. Are oh, you hurt? Oh, I never felt better in my life. Oh, just, just sit on the bench right over here. That's it. Gosh, I tried to warn you. Did you see the lamppost? Of course I saw the lamppost. I hit it, didn't I? How's my bike? Well, let's take a look. It may not be as bad as it seems. No, I'm afraid it's worse. Oh, I love that old bike. You may not believe this, but I've had it over 20 years. I believe it. <laughs> oh, I should have got a new one, but well, I just couldn't do it. Of course, I understand. Uh, of course, it isn't the money. No, no, of course not. Who said it was? Say, you know, I'm pretty handy with tools. Maybe I can fix this for you right here. Let's yeah. see what you've got in the bag. Mm. Yeah, that ought to do it. Well, naturally, I'll see to it that you're paid for your trouble. Oh, don't you worry about that, old timer. Go ahead, help yourself. Well, uh, I really shouldn't. Hmm. You enjoy those almost as much as Max. He comes by here about this time every morning. Well, who's Max? A squirrel. Of course, I'm not really sure whether it's Max or Maxine. You fascinate me, boy. Yeah, do you mind if I finish these? Morning air gives me an appetite. No, 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 no. Go right ahead. <laughs> I didn't know there were any young men like you anymore. Nowadays, they're all in too much of a hurry to stop and do a favor for anybody. Well, I'm afraid I'm not doing you much of a favor. You see, I can't fix this right here without a pair of offset pliers. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, maybe I can fix it for you at my office. Could you spare the bike till this afternoon? Oh, I guess so. I'll be out trudging the golf course all day. At your age? Mm -hmm. But which golf course? Uh, Woodside Country Club. I ought to be through about uh, 3.30. 
I see. Well, you'll have it for then. Well, John, this has been a real pleasure. I'll see you at the club. Thank you. Oh, who will I ask for? Sam. Just ask anybody for Sam. Sam. Oh, Sam. I just happen to think. You'll need some money for car fare. Thank you, son. You're very kind. <laughs> Sorry, Max. You're too late. Bob, are you hurt? Hurt? And when did you get a bicycle? Oh, this is my bicycle. Belongs to Sam. Who's Sam? <laughs> well, I was sitting in the park waiting for Max. And wait a minute. Well, Who's Max? Max is a squirrel. I, I was sitting in the park waiting for Max, and Sam came by on the bicycle. A squirrel riding a bicycle? Julie, Max is a squirrel. Sam is an old man on his way to work. He's a caddy at the Woodside Country Club. Naturally, when he slashed into the lamppost, I, I You went... volunteered to fix his bike for him. Yeah, that's right. I better get started. I promise to have it ready for him this afternoon. Julie, what are all these boxes doing in my office? Oh, those are the blueprints for the sweetser track. Mr. Thackeray had them put in there. Oh, yeah. Bob. Where are you going? Fix the bicycle. In Mr. Thackeray's office? Well, there's no room in my office. Mr. Thackeray's not going to be using it. He's over South Coast Trust with Mr. Bradley. Don't worry, Julie. I'll be careful. <whistles> and, and you should have seen the way he tackled those feet, that's Julie. Poor old fellow was really ravenous. That is, good new. I hope this Sam's the grateful type. Imagine buying him two new tires. Yeah, well, the others were past fixing. Well, don't worry, he'll pay me back. And if he doesn't? <laughs> well, there's only one thing left to do. List Sam as a defendant on my income tax. South Coast Trust Company. Oh, yes, I've heard of Mr. Bradley. Mr. Bradley, this is a pleasure. Welcome to the Thackeray Realty Company. Well, thank you so much, Miss. Uh... Uh, Marshall, Julie Marshall. But then everyone calls me Julie. We'll be in conference for some time, Julie, so see that we're not disturbed. Uh, Mr. Thackeray, you received some very interesting letters in the mail this morning. Uh, this one, for instance. Well, I'm glad to learn that we're going to have a new car wash in the neighborhood. Oh, and here's another one. It's about... Yes, Julie? About a sale for nylon stockings. Very interesting. After you, Mr. Bradley. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. I just made it. Oh, I, uh, I have the amortization schedule right here. By the way, I rather expected to meet Mr. Hamilton this morning. Well, our president spends most of his time on the golf course, the Woodside Country Club. Really? Woodside? Fine club. I hope to play that course sometime. Now, now, here we are. Now, Mr. Bradley, in my opinion, this is one of the safest loans that your organization could ever make. Uh, due to the fact that we have... Your, uh... Your bicycle seat, Mr. Thackeray? Yes, but it isn't... 
It isn't my bicycle seat. Oh, of course it isn't. Well, continue. Well, uh, the feature that takes this out of the spectrum of this class is the fact that we have arranged for a setup here in which we can... Part of the Sweetser Track plumbing, Mr. Thackeray? No, that's the pair of handlebars. For a bicycle. Well, continue. Mr. Bradley, I'll stake my reputation as a realtor that the South Coast Trust Company will have this loan back within 90 days. I mean it, sir. Within 90 days. <laughs> Robert Schmidt. The kind they put in bicycle tires. Oh, I assure you, believe me, Mr. Bradley, I had no idea that you... Oh, I'm Mr. sorry. Mr. Bradley, huh? you have simplified things. I had no intention of recommending a loan. Now, now I won't even have to write you a letter. But, Mr. Bradley, every penny I have in the world is sunk in this development. Nevertheless, your application has just been rejected. Mr. Thackeray. Oh, I can't stand to see you like this. You're not your old self at all. Look, let go. Rant, rave, pound the desk. Fire me. Yes, that's it. Fire me. It'll make you feel better. I can't fire anyone. The Thackeray Realty Company is no more. But, sir, it's all my fault. Oh, no, I haven't even got that satisfaction. Bradley wasn't going to recommend the loan in the first place. Willis Thackeray is through. All washed up. Mr. Thackeray, don't say that, please. Look, remember the old saying, it's always darkest before the dawn. No use, Bob, I'd hit the skiff. And the other old saying, never say die. And life is tough for the yard, but by the inch, it's a cinch. <laughs> well, it's all downhill from now on, Bob, and you'll be behind me. Pushing. Oh, Mr. I'm going to cheer you up. I'm going to tell you a joke. There were two musicians, and the first one said to the other one, Man, I'm going to Chicago for a couple of weeks. The other said, You're going to Chicago? Man, you're crazy. Why don't you have them send it? <laughs> I thought, thought that was kind of funny. Have them send it? You haven't said it, see? <laughs> oh, Mr. Thackeray, you can't quit now. Well, you're a fighter. I'm Nick, Bob. Look, why don't you go over Mr. Bradley's head? Go right to the top. Go to the man in charge. You can do it. You're a super salesman. Why, why you're a great talker. That's all you do is talk. <laughs> well, I, I mean, you, you phrase things so well. Stop talking, Bob. I'm beginning to get an idea. Why not go over Bradley's head? Why not see Mr. Hamilton? The president of the South Coast Trust Company. Yes, sir, that, that's just what I... And I know just where to get in touch with him. Bean Blossom, I'm leaving you in charge of the office. Yes, sir. Stay here, understand? Yes, sir. And stay out of trouble. <laughs> Julie? I'll be gone for the rest of the day. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bob, you did it. He likes you again. Yeah, that's right, Julie. Say, I wonder how you'll feel when he finds out I'm leaving the office for a while this afternoon. Oh, Bob, you promised you'd stay. Yes, I know. I promised Sammy to have his bicycle back, too. He needs to get home. I'd better get seat back on. But suppose you run into Mr. Thackeray. Julie, what would Mr. Thackeray be doing at the Woodside Country Club? <laughs> Silly. This is the Woodside Country Club. As you can see, it's really a swanky layout. It, it just makes you feel bad to think that they have to employ old men like my friend Sam to carry those heavy golf bags. But that's the way it goes. Oh, here I am, just driving up. <laughs> Sorry, just testing. Say, um, you happen to know an old man around here by the name of Sam? Sam? 
Oh, he ought to be coming off the 18th hole any minute now. Oh, good. Well, I just want to return his bicycle to him. Oh, you're the fellow that fixed his bike. Yes, that's right. There he is now. Over here, Sam. Well, good to see you again, young man. Hi, Sam. Well, how do you like it? Oh, beautiful. Well, what's this? Two new tires. And a brand new seat cover. Yes, a genuine plastic. <laughs> Say, I could let a mileage out of that. Yes, those, those clubs you carry around must be pretty heavy. I don't carry any clubs around. I've got a caddy. Say, this is a swanky club. Even the caddies have caddies. <laughs> if you still don't get it, son, I'm a member of this club. Um, but you're wearing these old... You mean you're rich? Mm, pretty rich. Look. This isn't going to affect our friendship, is it? Oh, no, of course not. It's just that I... Good, good, good. Uh, after a round of golf, I usually go into the steam room. Good for the circulation. How about joining us? Oh, no, thanks, Sam. I can't. I I've got to get back to the office before I get fired. Don't you worry about getting fired, young man. You and I are going to have a little talk. You're well, one in a million. I really can't. You see... Oh, no. Something wrong? Sir? Excuse me, uh, which way is to the steam room? Uh, never mind, I'll meet you there. Just hold it. Yes, sir. One in a million. Come on in. This is the locker room. Uh, look, Sam, I, I didn't really want a steam bath. I was just trying to get away from someone. Oh, you and I got a lot in common, boy. That's my whole purpose in life. Uh, Joe, uh, fix up my guest, will you? Right, Sam. No, no, see, uh, I... Look, wait for me. I gotta collect some bets. See you inside. <laughs> you can wear this to the steam room. No, no, I really can't see. I have to get back to my when office. When Sam back. says wait for him, you wait for him. Oh, thank you. Well, this is quite a place you have here. Help yourself to the slivers. Oh, thanks. Something wrong? No, I was just looking for my size, 10 AA. They're all the same. You just wear them once and throw them away. Yeah? My, this is a swanky club, isn't it? <laughs> I, oh, sorry. Oh, Mr. Hamilton. Yes? Uh -huh, I'm Willis Thackeray, a Thackeray Realty. I'd like to speak to you about a loan from your bank. You see, we're planning a track development, and if we... See Bradley. He handles that department. I, I have already seen Mr. Bradley. Now, if you could spare me a few moments... I'm busy. I've got to collect some bets. Uh, then after that. Then I go to the steam room. Now, see Bradley. See Bradley. Oh, I'm a friend of Mr. Hamilton. Have you a locker? I'd like to use a steam room. A locker? Yes, sir. Right over here. Towels are right over there. Anything else you want, just call. Hi, Julie. Any calls? <laughs> no, no, no. I can't come back into the office right now. I'm very busy. Well, what did you tell him? Well, if you want to reach me, call me at Westwood, 7361, <laughs> extension 5. Yeah. Well, why doesn't Bob handle it? He's right there in the office. There's no reason why he can... Wait a minute. <laughs> hmm. No use for you to cover up for him. I know he's not there, Julie. And if he's not back in 10 minutes, 
Tell him he's through. <laughs> Goodbye. to make you feel good, huh? Mm-mm. You a member here? Mm-mm. Yeah. Neither am I. Thackeray's your name. <laughs> Ice water, sir. Take a deep breath. to the top here. Nice and hot up there. Thanks. I, I think I will. Oh, oh, there you are. I wonder what happened to you. Well, it's sure hot up here, isn't it? By the way, I never did get your name. I say, I never did get your name. You live with the and zero the moon. What's that? <laughs> Telephone call from Mr. Thackeray. Thanks, I'll be right there. Oh, uh, tell him I'll call back later. Uh, pardon me, may, uh, may I speak to you, sir, now? So it's you again. Yes, Thackeray of Thackeray, really. I, I realize it's rather presumptuous on my part to corner you like this, but when you hear my problem... Uh, no time for problems. I'm here to relax. Are you there, son? Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry I've kept you waiting. Really, my firm has an excellent reputation. I know all about your firm. Fine, fine, Mr. Hamlin. <laughs> if you'd grant our loan for the suite of development, we have plans for an expansion we could put into effect right away. I told you that Bradley handles our loans. I don't have it. Hmm. Expansion, huh? Tell me, uh, has your firm any need of a bright young man who has a lot on the ball? Happens to be a friend of mine. Factory Realty can always use a friend of yours. That is, I mean, a bright young man, Mr. Oh. Hamilton. Uh, as a matter of fact, we may have a vacancy coming up today. <coughs> wait a minute, son, wait. I want you to meet your new boss. Mr. Thackeray, I want you to meet, um... Uh, what is your name, son? Bean Blossom, Robert S. Bean Blossom. <laughs> Bean Blossom. How do you do, Mr. Thackeray? <laughs> you think you'd like to work for this fella, Bean Blossom? It's up to you. Well, I, that is, uh, if, if you don't mind, Mr. Thackeray. Oh, I'd love to have you. <laughs> Easy now, boy. Don't let them high pressure you. Oh, no, 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 I, I want the job very much. <laughs> well, Mr. Thackeray. Thanks to this young man, you've got yourself a loan from the South Coast Trust Company. Thanks to Bean Blood. <laughs> <laughs> My hero. And mine. Julie, please, not here. <laughs> 